In this question, we're given a function 9 times x minus 4 to the 2 thirds power. So let's write that down. And of course, every question in calculus 1, you need to take a derivative. Why are we taking a derivative? Because we need to get a critical number here, critical point. So we need to know when is f prime of x equal to 0. So we're taking the derivative. We have 2 thirds times 9, x minus 4, 2 thirds minus 1, we're dropping the power by 1, so that's negative 1 third. We're not done yet, that just takes care of the power. Now we go inside, x minus 4, derivative is 1, or 1 minus 0, but that's just 1. You don't need to write that, but just remember the chain rule is still here, just because it cancels to 1. 9 over 3 is 3 times 2 is 6. Now I'm going to write this as a fraction. It's the third root of x minus 4. Alright, once you have this, you know the a value. This is never going to equal 0. So, <clears throat> I wouldn't normally call this a critical number. It is an important number, but the critical number is where the slope is zero. Uh, our slope won't be zero because the fraction is only zero and the numerator is zero. That being said, four is going to be what they're looking for in the first part. Now, when we draw our sign graph for, oh, this is F, and this is f prime. Make sure you do label your work. Don't do what I just did. So that's f prime. So if we draw f prime here, we have a, this is gonna turn into a vertical asymptote at four, which means it's either positive or negative on each side. We have to determine positive or negative. So let's go ahead and plug in zero. I think zero is a good value to plug in. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in What's another easy one? I'm going to plug in 5. That gives me an easy root. So I'm going to f prime 0, 6 over the cube root of 0 minus 4. Now, this may scare you. It just scared me for a second because we have a root of a negative. However, we have an odd root of a negative, so we're just fine. And the third root of negative 4 is a negative number. And we're dealing with 0 right now. So that means we're negative on this interval. That means our original function is decreasing. Now when I plug in 5, 6 over the cube root of 5, I'm plugging in 5, and getting 5 minus 4 is 1. Cube root of 1 is 1. So that's positive 6. So we're going to be positive over here. That's a little bigger of a plus that we need. That's a good plus. We're going up. All right. So ready to answer decreasing, increasing. So negative infinity to 4, decreasing. And to positive infinity increasing. And that should be, remember A is 4, so the first one is decreasing, then increasing. All right, we're almost there. We just have to deal with concavity. Now, concavity, you need the second derivative. The second derivative is positive, you're concave up, negative concave down. Scroll down to get f prime on the screen. f double prime is, well, you know, before we do that, let's just rewrite f prime as 6 times x minus 4 to the negative 1 third prime. Never write first power, so that's going to be a prime, not a first power. 
So I haven't taken a derivative yet. I just rewrote f prime in a more conducive way for a derivative. Now we're taking derivative six times the power negative one third x minus four subtracting one from the power is negative four thirds. We can reduce six times negative one thirds negative two divided by x minus four. It's the cube root then the fourth power. Because remember, powers of powers are products. So if you think about negative four thirds, this is, you could write it as negative one third times four. So you could do the one third power and then the fourth power. What the, so, the cube root negatives are just fine. So for example, I could plug in zero and I would get negative four, cube root negative four is negative. However, this fourth power here means that the denominator is always going to be positive. Regardless of what comes out of the root, you're taking it to the fourth power, making it positive. And it's negative two divided by a positive. So it's always going to be negative. The only x value doesn't make sense for when x is not four, as four you'd be undefined divided by zero. So it's always negative. What does that mean about concavity? Concave up, concave down, we're negative, so we're always gonna be concave down, frowny face. And that's both sides of four. So you could do f double prime, and you would have negative, negative, but for f double prime that means concave down, concave down, because they're both negative. 